Hello everybody and welcome to the Learn Hittite channel and today I've got a very quick video for you uh, because there's been an interesting discovery in the field of Indo-European linguistics, uh, specifically the Anatolian branch. I first got this information from the Sumerian and Hittite Facebook page so I recommend everybody to go and check that out uh, because they usually post highly interesting uh, stuff uh, connected to Sumerian Hittite for people to read and not just only uh, those two languages. Uh, the uh, title of their post was that there is a new Indo-European language which has been discovered and obviously I clicked straight away and um, they reported on an article that had been uh, published what literally yesterday on the um, website of Universitat Würzburg and uh, yeah, their, their article title was New Indo-European Language Discovered. And basically, to give you the short version of it, they have been translating some Hittite tablets. And inside one of those Hittite tablets was a recitation of a non-Hittite ritual. And that recitation wasn't in Hittite language. It was in an unknown Indo-European language. Um, and this uh, recitation contains an idiom and linguists have analysed it and um, the, the, all that they know is that it's likely to be an Anatolian language, um, so therefore an Indo-European language, uh, but they still need to put a lot of heavy work into um, uh, deciphering and understanding what's going on. The, the name that they've coined for this language is Kalashma. And if I understand the article correctly, the um, Hittite ritual text itself refers to this idiom as being in the language of the land of Kalashma. And Kalashma is that uh, part of modern day Turkey on the uh, north coast east of modern day Istanbul, the area where historically um, Palaic languages were spoken. And Palaic languages, you know, they are basically northern Anatolia, uh, Luvic languages, southern Anatolia. Uh, Western Anatolia, Lydian languages, and Central Anatolia is, um, is is Hittite. But the interesting thing about it is from the preliminary investigations of the linguists, um, this doesn't look particularly close uh, to Palaic. It seems to resemble Luvian, um, which is quite interesting because there is uh, some debate amongst linguists about the relationship between the main Anatolian language branches. Uh, which broke off first, which is more conservative and uh, and things like this. The kind of current working theory is that Hittite broke off first and then this second branch from which Hittite broke off uh, was the branch that contained um, Lydian and Palaic, which uh, broke off next. And then that remaining branch is what gave us Proto-Luvian. Uh, how accurate that is, um, you know, it's difficult to say uh, because of, you know, the, there is a big difference in the uh, corpus sizes of the attested Anatolian uh, family languages. This is a new language, it's a new inscription, so we're definitely going to be able to glean some new knowledge about Indo-European and Anatolian languages in general. It's perhaps a little bit too early to get really excited uh, I mean, it's definitely, no, sorry, This we should get excited about this. But how excited? Maybe it's a little bit too early to say. You know, will we, it, what will be important is in the near future, whether we discover further inscriptions, which can be attributed to this particular language. Um, you know, will it give us some light on, um, you know, laryngeals in Anatolian languages? Maybe we'll find one of those uh, missing laryngeals in Anatolian, I suspect rather rather not. Um, it is possible, however, that as we deepen our knowledge of the Anatolian language tree in general, uh, that we'll be able to, you know, provide some linguistic feedback to the recent Hegarty article, which I've discussed about in this um, uh, in this channel. But I think what is likely with these types of um, new language discoveries is that it's it's just going to give us a much deeper understanding of the Anatolian branch in general. And it would be useful for um, us to be able to better organise that, that 
branching network of the Anatolian languages uh, and to um, you know better understand the interrelationships between them. So yeah, it's an interesting time uh, in the world of Anatolian languages and Hittite. So that's all for me. Um, I'll provide links to everything in the description. Please go check out this uh, information uh, for yourselves. It is very interesting. Uh, fingers crossed, let's hold our thumbs that um, in the near future we'll get some other inscriptions. Um, I think it's highly likely, you know, in the long term, based on the amount of um, texts that are still left to be um, translated and analysed adequately, that we will find other Anatolian languages. Mm, just how much they will um, enable us to you know, widen our knowledge of the Anatolian language trees is, is left to be seen. But nevertheless, this is something uh, to get us all excited. That's all for me for today. I'll be back very soon. Uh, it's interesting because um, this new language was discovered in a Hittite ritual text. I'm working on a Hittite ritual video. Uh, we're going to go into a particularly interesting Hittite ritual and look at some of the Hittite language that was involved in that ritual. I hope that's going to be exciting for you. That will be coming up in the next few days. That's all for me. Goodbye for now and have a great day.